I am not hungry because I just ate. I'm feeling well enough to make a video. Because I got... Oh, I guess I got stuff to say. What was last time? It was like... Oh, it was Tuesday. Tuesday after I had my class. Um, Wednesday, my dad went to went up to like do his processing stuff because he was getting deployed, and he found out that instead of being delayed like he thought he would be, he was leaving the next day, so Thursday, which was a surprise to all of us. Um, and so I was gonna see him off at the airport with my brother, and that would have been really, that was gonna be like 4 a.m. ish, you know, being there around 4:30. Um, my brother and I didn't really approach that with the greatest of skill. Um, I got home, I mean, I wasn't home late, what was Wednesday? I did something Wednesday that it made me stay out. Oh, I had. I was, I was visiting with a friend for a while. And then I got home from that, and then we started to like hang out and talk. And when my brother and I get to talking, it's just, you, we could go all night. And a lot of it is spent um, talking about how we're so awesome, and why we're great, and why real sucks. Well, not really, not usually that, but we talk about how awesome we are a lot because we are awesome. Um, so I go as so we started to do that around ten thirty, maybe eleven, a quarter of eleven, and then I turned into eleven thirty, twelve, thirty, one, thirty, um, and we had to be up before four to go to the airport. Um, not so wise. So we both got like an hour and a half of sleep, and that was an interesting experience. That's the second time that, that I've done that in like two or three weeks. Um, so we went to the airport, and it was good. I mean, there was lots of people from work. Um, my mom was there, obviously. My dad was there. His girlfriend was there. Like a big old family of people. And I was just so delirious from the exhaustion. Like I. I was just acting a fool. It was fun. I mean, it was a good time. It was definitely it was a good send off, but um, it was a little bit nuts. And then I went back to sleep when I got home. Um, on Thursday, I had my group, which went pretty well. It was odd. Um, Friday, Friday. Um, me and my brother and and my best friend went to see um, Paranormal Activity too, and we got there like right. Uh, we got there like right on time which for a movie on its opening day is dumb and we didn't plan well enough and we sat in the third row from the front which for any movie that sucks because you like your whole head is like and you it's just it fills up your whole vision and and for a scary movie well that just makes it worse um, but there was something kind of comforting about um, when the scary parts were coming and you could feel it and the audience could feel it, and you could, and so you knew that that you weren't the only one clenching your fists till your knuckles were white, holding your breath, and like scanning the screen, like, <sighs> yeah. And there was like some screaming, and I definitely did emit some noises. I think. I mean, I don't, I don't remember doing it, but Bethany told me that I did, and I believe her. I mean, I have no reason not to. <clears throat> so, I mean, damn. And then. Yeah, I mean, it was good, but I <laughs> never want to see it again. It scared me. It scared me a lot. Um, and then we came home, and Bethany was feeling sick, so she didn't stay over like she was going to originally. But Sean, like, kept talking. Like, he was looking up stuff online, because he wasn't scared. He was a big old asshole. Um, and, like, all I wanted to do was just, like, tell him, Shut the fuck up! Like, I don't want to talk about this anymore! I want to go to bed at some point. Like, I don't want this to be on my mind. I dwell on things. That's what I do. That's how I operate. I dwell. And when things are on my mind, they're on my mind. And I want to get things off my mind if they're going to, you know cause me emotional distress, like, talking about this movie, or ever. <sighs> so I finally shut up, and I finally went to bed eventually. Um, and then Saturday, I did some raking in the yard. Hey, Swishy. Swishy is really not happy right now, because Sean won't let her in her in his room all the time. Like, she's been going in there a lot, and sleeping with him. The traitor. And, but now all she wants to do is go into his room, and he had it closed, and I'm going to respect that. I'm not going to open the door for her, even though I know she wants to. But she is, like, obnoxious as hell sometimes. And I think I might have mentioned this before, but, like, her litter box skills... I mean, her lack of litter box skills are a problem. It's disgusting. It smells like an asshole down there. Like, it's bad. 
I think I'm going to get her one of those big old enclosure ones so she can walk into it, and maybe she'll do better. But it's gross. Um, and then Saturday, had um, I went to to a friend's um, wedding reception, was reception, and Bethany was my obliging date. And we, I mean, it was, it was a good little thing. I had to give a speech on the fly, which I don't know how that went, because I can't really judge those things for myself. I'm sure it was awkward. Um, and then after a while, um, I had given, oh, I got a new phone. And it goes, like, eh, how does it go? It slides out. It's pretty sweet. And um, so I had taken a picture when I went to tug it um, the other day. Oh, I started work. I had my orientation on Friday, and then instead of, like, staying there for four hours, which is how long it was going to take, I ended up working for, like, a couple hours, which is nice. So after I went to work, I went to Target and took a picture of these penguin footy pajamas. So Bethany saw that picture. She was looking through my pictures, which is how you'd find a picture. Hmm. And she just, the look on her face was just pure joy, and she squealed, and I was like, we can go get those. And so we left the reception to go buy Penguin footy pajamas, which I'm, I'll post pictures of at some point, I'm sure. Um, and so that's put. They're actually really comfortable, and I really was glad that I bought them yesterday when I went downstairs, and the heat I hadn't had, had starting over, and I hadn't had the heat on yet, so I needed like extra clothes when I was in my pajamas. So I put those on, zipped them up, good to go. Watched my episode of Degrassi, and then I went to bed. Um. So, reception, and then last night was a rock gym, which it was, we just pretty much, we just cleaned and got out of there. And then today, I had my class, I had a midterm. I don't know if I should feel confident. I'm confident. I'm confident that I either did okay or badly. Like, me and this other girl in my class are like, we talk about how badly we do on the homeworks, and I suck at them, and she sucks at them. And it's just it's a, it's it's just bad news, but the exams are where we can kind of like try to redeem ourselves, although it probably doesn't go very well. But and I have to read um, the Kite Runner for my class tomorrow, my friendship class. And well, just hang on a second. Look at Smushy on the table. Um, so I'll read that before my next class. But I'm also reading The Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood, which I bought... I think I... I feel like I mentioned this. If I did, well, you're going to hear it again. And if I didn't, then hey, it's the first time. Um, but when I went to Goodwill to buy my Halloween costume stuff, I also bought like a bunch of books, um, which spanned from like a history of Serbia's genocide and shit to The Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood. Which I love. I am in love with this book. I'm not even. I'm not even halfway through it. I think I'm probably like a like a third, maybe. But this book is amazing, and I and I don't. It's very rare that I feel so strongly when I read a book that it's very important. And this is it. This is so important. Like I, it's just. It's a. It's. It's beautiful, is what it is. This is a very beautiful book, and I'm fun finding that I. I just stop, and there's a line or a sentence, and. I just, I mark the page, because I need to go back and, like, give it more attention, just so I can rem like, these are pieces of the book that, that are huge, and I don't even know if the author realizes how huge they are, but it's just, it's phenomenal so far, and I'm really excited to read more of it. Oh, it's going to be put on hold, because I have to read Kite Runner. <sighs> yeah, and I've been looking at, um, I think I'm going to be picking up my class for next semester soon, I'm going to be taking five. Only one of them linguistics, five or four philosophy ones, which will get me pretty, well, it'll kick me along the way to getting my rest of us taken care of. And I'm going to be taking um, a class called The Philosophy of Compassion, which is by the same professor that I'm taking my friendship seminar with, which that pleases me greatly because he's a great guy, great professor, and I'm very excited to, to read or to hear more about his stuff. Um, and. I guess that's about it. I mean, there's other things, but I don't know, those are kind of big things, and I think this video is already kind of long. But, yeah, and it's weird to be home, to like, I don't know if it hasn't sunk in yet, or if it's already sunk in, like, forever ago, that my dad isn't going to be here for a long time. Because, I mean, he's been spending a lot of his time, like, the weekends, and even during the week, at his girlfriend's. So, 
I mean, me and Sean have gotten used to him not being around, and now he's just not around ever. His car is out there in the in the side of the road, on the side of the street, which I'll probably use to get to class because I'm running really low on gas. I need to get gas, and it's very expensive. And I haven't gotten I don't I don't I'm like running really low on money again because of all these unforeseen things. But so it's weird. Like I'm gonna finish raking the lawn maybe tomorrow or something. And it's just odd to like like this is my house, Sean Stu. But more I feel like it's more mine just because I do a lot more of the stuff around it. But it's odd. It's odd that I basically live alone with my brother. But it's kinda and Oh, to say it's nice would kind of say like, oh, glad that my dad's gone. But it is. But it's nice. It's nice to like have a sense of responsibility that I've had before when I was at when I was at my apartment like last year. But it's different. It feels bigger. I'm not renting an apartment. I am staying in my own house, the home that I have lived in for 15 years is basically mine exclusively right now. It's a bird on the feeder, but. Yeah, so that's that's it for real. Um, yeah, so um, I'm having a good day. Do me a favor, or maybe actually I'll say do yourself a favor. Think about what you think is beautiful. Think about beauty. Think about that. That should be. You should think about that today. What is it? What does it mean? Where do you find it? Why do you find it? What things are beautiful to you and what things aren't and why are they or aren't they? It's a good idea to, to think about those things once in a while. And I think you'll surprise yourself. And if you don't think about it and you don't feel like that's interesting at all, well, I kind of feel bad for you. Um, it's very important. So yeah, with that, think about what's beautiful and why it's beautiful. And I think you'll find yourself smiling, because I've been smiling. It's that smile that's like, it's small, but it feels so big. <sighs> see, that's, that's just kind of like that. So, alright, um, take care, and I'll see you later.